Hello everyone, very good morning. Welcome back. In this session, let's discuss a simple scenario on how to extract last modified date from Excel sheet. So usually uh, users would like to see when the data got last modified uh, based on their data source. It can be from Excel or it can be from databases. But if it is from databases, it is very easy. We will have a column called last modified date in the table. So we can directly extract that uh, field into the card visual. So we can directly drag the card and we can drag the field into the visual. Here we can set latest date so that we can see maximum date in that entire column. That's how we do if it is from database. But how can we do the same thing from Excel? So currently I have an Excel file. In the Excel file, we can just have the data for the reporting. We, but we don't have any uh, column that uh, can represent when the data got lost modified. But how can we see that uh, data and how can we extract the data? We can see with two examples now. One is based on my local file. One is based on SharePoint folder. Let me show you the file I'm using for this uh, demo. I have a file name called actors, which is Excel sheet in my uh, local PC. So whenever we create an Excel file or whenever we try to modify the Excel file, we can see the latest date here, which is date modified. So we need to extract this date and we need to show in the report level. So to do that, we cannot extract directly Excel. We have to extract a folder. So first thing is the very first step is make sure this Excel sheet is in the folder. Let me create uh, one folder. I'm just creating as a movies and I'm going to take this actors into the movies. That is first thing. Now in the Power BI desktop, let me go to get data and click on folder, go to more section and uh, search for folder here and take that folder into Power BI desktop. Browse. This is the folder we have just created. Click on OK. See the moment if I extract the folder directly, we can see date accessed, date modified and date created. So to capture these things directly uh, from Excel sheet, we cannot directly take an Excel file. We have to take a folder. That's the first step. So now we can directly go to transform data. Currently we have uh, only one Excel file in this folder. If you have 10 Excel files, we can see 10 records here. Based on which Excel file you would like to extract this date modified, we can directly filter that and we can take this date. So now once we are at this place, uh, either we can remove everything and just keep this date modified or we can just keep this as such and we can extract only this one. So for now, just let me take only this one. Click on date modified. Right click on this. And we know in the Power Query have different options. We can click on remove other columns. So this will remove all the columns and we can see only this one. And let me close and apply. Now take a card visual. And take that date modify to this card visual. So like this, we can able to extract this last modified date from Excel sheet in your local. And let's say, for example, if your data is in uh, SharePoint or any cloud sources. So I have also the same example uh, to demonstrate. So this is my SharePoint site, which is in the name of company name dot SharePoint dot com slash site slash site name. So in this site, I have a folder in the name of actors. And in this actors uh, folder, I have one more file called uh, actors, which is just I've uploaded this to SharePoint, the same Excel file, which is in my local. Now to extract this uh, to Power BI, we have to copy this SharePoint site. Now go back to Power BI desktop, click on get data and click on more section. So select SharePoint folder uh, data source for this example. Click on this one, click on connect. So paste the URL, which is our SharePoint site URL. Click on OK. So here we can see same kind of data from SharePoint also. But if you're connecting for the very first time, it will be asking for authentication. So we can see the options on the left hand side. We have to select Microsoft account and we have to authenticate to your SharePoint. 
but already I have authenticated uh, before. That's why it is not asking again and again. So, but make sure if you try to uh, connect to SharePoint folder from Power BI Desktop, it will be asking for authentication. We have to select Microsoft account and click on sign in and sign in with your credentials. That is first step you have to do. Then we can see the list of all the folders available in that site. So click on transform data again. We can see same thing, the name and when it was last modified. I think uh, my share point was in different time zone. That's why it is showing 7.44 p.m. instead of 7.44 a.m. But doesn't matter. So understand the concept. How can you extract these date modified dates from SharePoint? Now the same thing also here. We can remove all the columns and we can just keep only this column for now. You can remove other columns. And we can take only this one to the card visual to see the last modified date of that Excel sheet. So hope you understand how we can extract this last mod period from Excel sheet from our local Excel file and the Excel file which is in the cloud uh, sources, which is SharePoint folder in this example. So if someone is uh, struggling to get this kind of dates to your Excel sheet uh, reporting, so you can follow this process and you can show to your business. So that's all for now. We'll continue next session. Please subscribe, please share with your friends and please like the videos. Thank you so much. Bye everyone.